everyone. Welcome back to the kitchen. Finally, it has been way too long since I've done a baking for beginners video. I think the last one that I did was probably for Easter. So that will tell you just how long it has been. So I apologize for being away from baking for so long, but it does take a lot of time to do these baking videos and my weekends are usually pretty busy. So one, I had a little trouble finding the time to fit it in. Two, during the summer, I have a lot less desire to bake because it's very hot. And the last thing I want to do is heat up the house even more by using the stove or things like that. But here we are in fall. So it's a perfect season for baking and it's also the season of pumpkin. So today I'm going to be making the best ever pumpkin muffins. That just happens to be the name of the recipe. I'm not personally calling them the best ever, but I did find the recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction, which is a website. So I do want to credit where I found the recipe. But I hope that you're happy that the Baking for Beginners videos are back. I have been away from baking for a little while, obviously, so I might be a little bit rusty at things, but I'm sure I'll get back into it. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss all the future Baking for Beginners videos that I have for you. And if you have any requests of things that you would like to see me bake, leave those in the comments down below. But let's just get right to baking. The first thing we need to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees. So the first thing you'll need is a pan for the muffins and you're going to want to line those with these paper liners. Next, we're going to mix together all of our dry ingredients and we are not going to actually be using a mixer for this recipe. We're just going to whisk all of our ingredients together. So. First, you'll want to get a large mixing bowl, and then I'm gonna tell you what you'll need for ingredients and the measurements. First, you want one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Next, we're going to add one cup of sugar. Next is half a cup of dark brown sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one quarter teaspoon of ground cloves, and one quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. So those are all our dry ingredients, so now we're going to whisk those together. Now that we've finished mixing together our dry ingredients, we're going to combine the rest of our ingredients into a separate bowl before combining them all together. So for this part, we're going to need to mix together two eggs. one 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree, a half a cup of coconut oil melted, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So now we're going to whisk our wet ingredients together. Without making too much of a mess. Now that that's mixed together, we're going to mix it into our dry ingredients so that everything is combined. want to stick to the whisk rather than mix. Ah, because it says stir together, not whisk together. 
gotta make sure you see those fine little details. So you whisk them when they're separate, but when you want to combine them all together, you stir. Makes sense. This is working out much better and easier. So the recipe does say to make sure you don't over stir, so once everything is combined, that's enough. You don't need to keep stirring. Now that our batter is mixed together, we're going to put it into our pan. And it is suggested that you use an ice cream scoop or something similar to make sure that you're getting kind of equally sized muffins and so you get that nice muffin top. So now that we have them in our pan, we're going to cook them for 20 to 22 minutes. I have to say so far this has been a pretty good beginner's recipe. It was quite easy to do, but the true test as to whether or not it is a true baking for beginners recipe is whether or not it turns out well. So we will know the final answer to that after they are done baking. So I'm going to put them in the oven and check back with you in a little bit. The muffins are done baking now and have had a chance to cool, so I'm going to give one a taste and let you know how they turned out. I am pretty happy with myself. I think they turned out quite well. I think based on a lot of my other past Baking for Beginners videos, this is one of the best. It was easy to make, really doesn't take that much time to make once you've prepped everything. So I definitely recommend you give it a try for a weekend breakfast or if you're going to a relative's for the holidays and want something to bring, this would be a nice, easy, yummy choice. And while they don't taste quite as sweet or maybe look quite as good as say a Dunkin Donuts pumpkin muffin. I think that they're better in a way because I could be wrong, but I have a feeling that that's a lot of artificial stuff where this being homemade, uh, you know exactly what went into it and I don't think it's really that bad for you. So I hope that you are enjoying your fall so far. I hope you also enjoyed this Baking for Beginners video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and if you would like to see more baking videos from me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye! Has some scent to it so if you're sensitive to scents or have sensitive skin, then you might not like this one. See, oh my, we have two lip products in this bag. Does Sephora know me or what? We already got the nude sticks, matte lip crayon, 